hey guys welcome back this video is going to be a video idea that i saw from a couple other booktubers and it's going to be that this video ends when i find a five star read i feel like the books on my tbr i have mixed feelings about i don't know if they're give giving me five star read vibes or what's going on but we will just have to wait and see um I have a really wide variety on the TBR that's coming up, so we'll just see how it goes. The first book that I have is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I'm on page 100 right now, so I'm just kind of getting into it. So far, I'm not feeling like it's going to be a five-star read. It's definitely, like, cutesy and fun, and I'm able to, like, connect with the characters and stuff, but... It's just not giving me that like five star read feel. So we'll see how it goes. I'll update you guys throughout while I'm reading this. I'm not gonna go like in depth and like tell you guys about the book. If you want to see that, I'll also be making a reading vlog of all of these books. But in this one, I'm simply just gonna be telling you like how I'm feeling while I'm reading it, my kind of like star rating as I'm going through. And then the video will end when I find a five star read. So I will give you an update when I get farther in the book. All right, little check-in on Beach Read. I am on page 294. So I am almost done with it. I'm gonna probably finish it in like the next hour or so. But right now I'm really liking it. It's giving me such like giddy vibes. I'm like so excited when stuff happens. And I like the storyline, how everything's kind of playing out. It's not giving me the like full five out of five star feeling. It's definitely giving me like a four, two, five, four, five. But that's just kind of what I'm thinking right now. I am loving the rest of it though. It like, it is so good. Like I don't want to put it down. I want to keep reading it. So I'm really enjoying it. It's just not giving me the five star feeling right now, but I do have a little bit left. So I'll let you know what I think whenever I finish it. Okay, I just realized I don't think I've updated at all on Twisted Lies. I'm reading it on my Kindle and I'm 71% the way through. It's definitely not giving me five star feels right now. I am very interested in it and it's very entertaining. I don't know, I just don't feel as connected with these characters as I have in some of the other characters in just this Twisted series. So it's definitely not giving me uh, five star vibes right now, but definitely like four probably. I'm only 71% the way through, so that could change. I definitely think there's gonna be something happening soon that's gonna add a little bit of spice and a little bit of conflict. So we will see how that goes and then I will update you on my official rating when I'm done. So I just finished my reading vlog video of Twisted Lie, so I wanted to pop in here and give my official rating on the book. It was not a five-star book, sadly. I think I would give it probably like a four or a 4.25. I did really enjoy it. It just like wasn't my absolute favorite. So yeah, I did decorate my Kindle. So now it's all cute. But unfortunately, this video is going to continue because I haven't found a five-star read yet. So now we have to decide what we're going to read next. So I will let you know when we figure that out. Okay, a little update on my five-star read journey. I am now on A Thousand Boy Kisses. This is a YA romance and I'm about 100 pages in right now. It's a super easy read, definitely like YA, but I don't think it's gonna be, I feel like the only way that it would be five stars is just because I would be emotional at how this ends. I feel like it's definitely good. I don't know. I'm on page 101 right now. I honestly have no idea if it's going to be five stars or not. Like, I don't even know how to pinpoint where I'm at right now. I feel like it's too much of an emotional read so far that I don't really know how I feel. So I will update you guys whenever I finish and let you know what I thought and what I rated it. I just finished it. I literally cried my eyes out I don't even know my rating I'm gonna have to think about it for a while before I say anything so so a little update on my search to find a five-star read book I finished a thousand boy kisses and right when I finished it I felt like it was giving me five out of five vibes like I really was like okay maybe this would be it because I was blowing my eyes out I was so emotional but now that I've had a few days to kind of sit back and think about the book 
and everything. I think I'm ultimately going to give it a four out of five. I loved it so much and I obviously was like bawling my eyes out and crying. And it was so emotional, but it wasn't like a five out of five. Like uh, it was a YA book. So like the writing was very juvenile and the story was very juvenile, which I liked, which obviously fit the book. And it was so emotional. I just don't think it was up to like my five star standards of like the book that is like amazing in every sense. Yeah. So I think that's where we stand. I think I'm going to give it a four out of five. Would definitely recommend this to someone. Like it was so good. It crushed me. I was crying so hard. It was so sad, but it's one of those that it's just like so good at the same time. But four out of five is a good rating for it. I don't think it was... I don't think I connected with the characters enough to like give it a four and a half or like a 4.25. I think a four out of five is a good rating. So the next book that I'm reading, I started it over the weekend on my Kindle is The Fine Print and it's the first book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. So right now I'm only 27% 20, the way through. I honestly don't have any feeling of like the star rating yet. I feel like I haven't got far enough into it and there's only been just like a little bit of tension. I will say it has been really entertaining so far. I feel like you're just kind of like, we're just kind of getting into it. So I don't quite have an idea of where I'm at on the star ratings, but I will let you know when I finish and we will see if this could potentially be our five star read. A little bit of an update on my journey to find a five star read. I just finished The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I read it on my Kindle and it was definitely underwhelming. It took me forever to get into. I think I wasn't like really into the book until I was like 75% of the way through probably. And I don't know. I just, I didn't like it that much. I mean, like I can see why other people like it. I think maybe I've just been reading too many books where the guy is like, internally conflicted about being in a relationship that I'm just kind of annoyed. Um, my rating on the fine print is going to be a three out of five. I really thought I was going to like it more than that, but it just didn't happen this time. That's okay. We'll keep reading and eventually we are going to find a five star book. So the next book that I'm reading is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace and I have heard so many good things about this book. I really hope that this is my five star read. So this video can be done, but I don't know. We just haven't found one yet. So let's start reading this and I'll let you know what I think whenever I've started it and kind of how I'm feeling about my star rating. Checking in on my search to find a five star read. This book came very close. It just wasn't quite to the five star, you know, level. I did give this a four and a half out of five. I loved it. I thought it was so cute. I loved the romance in it. I loved the characters. I loved all of the side characters. It just didn't give me that like five star feeling, which is okay because it was just like a romance book. I feel like five star, it has to be like deep. I don't, I don't know. I feel like there's just a feeling you get when you're reading a five star book and I just didn't get it with this one, but this one was very, very highly rated for me. I loved it. I would highly recommend this book if anyone's looking for like a cute sports romance. I haven't read a sports romance before, but I think this definitely got me into wanting to read more of those. So we're officially done with Icebreaker. Moving on, I have to figure out what to read next, but I will show you when I pick it out. Okay, popping in just to give a little update on Love Theoretically. I'm on page 200 right now, so I'm about halfway through and it's definitely not giving me five star feels. It's really cute. And it's good so far, but I feel like the first half of the book just was super slow and a lot of like story development. I wasn't like attached to the characters, but I don't know. That's how I'm feeling right now. Definitely not five stars, but it's cute. So I will check back in when I'm done with the book and we'll see how I feel. Okay, update on Love Theoretically. I finished it last night and I ended up giving it a 3.75 out of five. So not my five star read yet. I feel like I've been working on this video forever and I just can't find a five star read yet. It was a cute book, it was good. I loved the love interests together but it just wasn't even close to a five star. So that's a little disappointing. But on to the next book, we are going to be reading Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score. This is her new release that just came out a couple weeks ago. And I've heard really mixed reviews on it. So I am not 
very confident that this is gonna be my five star read, but we're still gonna read it anyway and see what we think. I finished Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score, and as I thought going into it, it wasn't a five star read, but I will say I was pleasantly surprised. A lot of people have been saying that they didn't like it that much, and I really did like it. I thought it was like the perfect slow burn, but not too slow, and I don't know. I thought it was like the perfect wrap up to the Knockamount series. So I did end up giving it a 4.25 out of five. I thought that was the perfect score. It was like a good book. It was super cute. I really connected with the characters just because it's like, I don't know. I love a good childhood friends to lovers and a found family aspect. And I just felt so connected with the characters in this book because we've had two other books to get to know them. Not a five star. I didn't feel like deeply connected with the story or like I wasn't crying or you know what I mean? Like things were happening and I was like, whoa, but like it wasn't, I wasn't that connected with it. But yeah, so 4.25 out of five. So we will keep searching for our five star read. The next book that I'm going to be reading is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And I feel like a lot of people rate this one five stars or very highly rate it. So I'm super excited to kind of switch. I've been reading a lot of romances lately and now we're gonna move on to like a YA like fantasy mystery type book. So I will let you know how I'm feeling once I start reading it and if I feel like it's going to be maybe a five star and this video can be over or if we are still going to be searching. The Inheritance Games check-in. I'm on page 212 and so far this is not even close to a five star for me. It's cute but I am just not really enjoying it. It's like I'm forcing myself to pick it up and read it. So not not even close to five star in my head right now but we will see how the rest of the book goes okay we're continuing the search to find a five star read i'm getting very discouraged because i have not read a five star book in so long i'm just really 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 hoping that it's coming soon and i have high hopes for the book that's next because i've heard so many good things about it and that is happy place by emily henry i know i'm so behind i haven't read it yet but we are starting it today and please like i really 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 hope this is gonna be five stars i feel like there's so many people that rated this five stars that there's no way that it can be but i am just like crossing my fingers hoping and praying that this is a five star read because i am in need i will check in with you whenever i've read a little bit and i have some feelings about it guys i cannot believe that i'm saying this but our search to find a five star book has finally come to a close and this probably isn't a surprise to most of you who have read this book already, but I finished Happy Place by Emily Henry and it was a five out of five. I absolutely loved this book. I just think everyone in their 20s should read it. You could, you would be able to connect with one of these characters and one of the situations that they're in. And I just feel like it was such a good reminder that you can always change what your life looks like, regardless of what age you are, what you've done in your past. And all that matters is you're happy and you spend time with people who make you happy and you enjoy your life because that's that's literally all you can do. <laughs> like you don't have to worry about what other people think about you. You don't need to worry about what you're doing to make other people proud. You just need to worry about yourself and if you're happy and that's it. That's literally all life is about is just being happy and enjoying our time while we're here on earth. So it's like, why don't we just do what we want to do in our heart so we're happy and we enjoy our life? Like, like it doesn't ha always have to be like a career making a ton of money and having a huge house and going, going on these extravagant trips. Sometimes it's just the slow life and enjoying time with your family and doing things that make you happy. And I just thought it, like this book just had such a good message. I don't know, it was so good. I think everyone should read this. I will say that like I went into it knowing that a lot of people absolutely love this book and so whenever I was reading it I my expectations were really high and it definitely lived up to that for me. Whenever I finally went to give a star rating of this book whenever I was finished I really thought hard about it. Whenever I was thinking about it there wasn't anything that I could think of about this book that I didn't like. Normally when I read a book and I really like it. I'm like, yeah, I like this, but like I didn't like this character or I didn't like this relationship or I didn't like how these people did this. And with this book, I really had nothing that I disliked about it. I just enjoyed it thoroughly the whole time. It was such a quick read. You wanted to know what was gonna happen. All of the relationships in this book were so good. The relationship between the friends, the relationship between the couples, it just, 
It was so good. So finally, 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 after reading, I don't even know how many books that I had to read to get a five star. I feel like I am such a hard person to please when it comes to books and I don't easily give five stars out. A lot of the time it's gonna be like a three, between a three and a four or even like a four and a half. But to get to the five star, you it really has to be good and I really have to connect with the book or the characters and feel like like I'm there experiencing it with them and I did with this book so that is so exciting I can't believe that we finally found a five star took forever I really hope that it doesn't take me this long to get another five star but we will see I'm just I'm hard to please when it comes to books and I think that's okay not every book can be a five star but I'm glad that I finally found one Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around for this long video while I'm looking for a five-star book. Let me know if you guys have read any really good five-star books lately so I can add some to my TBR. Like, I'm literally so giddy and so happy that I finally found a five-star book. That is going to be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.